Okay, the first thing you have to do is load your media for your project. The purpose of this first project is to be able to put in a text box with a solid background color with good contrasting text color so it's easy to read. The first thing you have to do is you have to get your video playhead to the position that you want the text box to appear. I'm going to put it right about there. So you click on the text box. <clears throat> I like the standard O default text box for most purposes. And let's see. That goes on your video two timeline. Go ahead and bump it up right to the playhead. <coughs> okay. When you're going <coughs> to input a text box, the first thing you do is you pick the font you want. I like the Arial font. And for this particular project, I'm going to make the text size a 30. As you can see, looking at the video, the bottom left-hand side shows the ingredients that are going to go into the chicken salad. So we're going to click this arrow right here, and we're going to move that text box and get it out of the way. I'm going to put it up here in the upper right hand corner. <clears throat> Be sure to select text mode again. Now, to save us all time, I have typed in the ingredients and the simple instructions into a text file. We can open that text file. We'll use Control A to select everything, and then we'll right click on it and copy it. Okay, to go ahead and close that now. All right. So you go up and click inside the text box, and then you use your backspace to get rid of the current items that are typed in there. You can press Control V as in Victor to paste that information that you copied from the text file. As you can see, some of the words are going off of the right hand side of the screen. So come over here and click this arrow again. Then you can select your text box and move it to where you want it on the screen. You want to be sure all of the words are on the screen. And it's about right, right about there. Okay. Go ahead and select text mode again. <clears throat> As you can see, it's hard to read that text with different coloring backgrounds, such as the t-shirt, Linda's arm, the white bowl, and the white text. It's just hard to read. So the solution to that is to have a solid background in that box. To get that, you come up here and click on Shapes. Click the rectangle shape. You'll notice that your cursor uh, turns into crosshairs. 
as you pass through the text box, it turns back into an arrow. You'll come up here just above and outside of the text box, making sure your cursor stays like a crosshair. Left click, hold the left click button, drag to the opposite corner, making sure all of the text is covered up. Go ahead and let go. Now we have a white background and white text. Well, that's hard to read, so click on the color palette and choose a color for your background. For simplicity's sake, I'm going to choose black. Click OK. Now the only other step we have left to do is we have to basically come up here to the top menu, click on text, Click on Arrange, and we're going to send that black layer to the back, to make, which will put it back behind the text. And it is as simple as that.